So last night, or actually, well, let's start at the beginning. Yesterday morning, my car broke down and we tried several times to bring it home, but it was irreparable. We didn't have the parts, we couldn't get the parts, and then we tried to tow it home um, and we just couldn't do it. It was too late, too dark, too steep. Um, pulling it in a, like a sedan. So we're trying to do it again. We're going to drive it slowly on the dirt bit and then we're going to load it onto the trailer and um, tow it on the bitumen part. Um, so it's, there's only a couple more kilometers of um, dirt and then the rest is bitumen all the way home. Home is about 20, 25 kilometers away. So hopefully um, we're successful today. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, it is really wet, which is much needed for our farm and all the farms around us because the ground is really dry. Um, but hopefully that doesn't hinder us um, when we're towing. So um, I'm gonna go follow Paul because he's driving the cruiser. Um, I'm gonna follow behind and then we're gonna load it on in a minute. Um, if you guys want the full story of what happened, you can go back to yesterday's vlog um, and you can see why we're in this situation. So a little bit concerned that the wheel may fall off. I am very lucky it didn't fall off while I was driving. I was doing 100. Um, and because I was doing such high speeds, I couldn't feel the vibrations. Um, it was just my steering that was playing up in a couple of corners. Um, I was, I was really lucky that I pulled over when I did because if I had gone much further, I reckon I would have been in a car with three, wheel, three wheels on its roof. Um, so that's a little bit scary, but um, yeah, glad it's all okay. Just hoping we can get it home. It's a fairly easy fix. Paul's done it before. Um, bearings go in these sorts of cars all the time and it's a constant four-wheel drive so you know there's a bit more wear and tear than a regular four-wheel drive has um so yeah it's an easy fix we've got all the parts it's just really getting it home and um all our other four-wheel drives one's not registered and really isn't kind of roadworthy um and the radiator's got a huge leak in it that's just our paddock bomb um that's jackie that got stuck the other day um it's also a two-wheel drive at the moment because one of the diffs isn't working um, and then we've got the 40 which is the blue ute that you've probably seen quite a bit of um, and that you know that would get it out no issues the only problem is that it's in one of the bottom paddocks and with all this rain we can't get um, it out so the plan was to bring the blue ute and I'll follow behind in this just to make sure all was okay um, but um, we just couldn't get it out I didn't realise it was going to rain um, today. I'm very thankful that it is raining, but um, it's just meant that we have to try it again in this car, which is not built to do this sort of stuff. So um, we're nearly at the end of this road, so hoping that wheel holds on for a little bit longer, um, and then we can get it onto the trailer and hopefully all will be okay. It was actually towing quite nicely yesterday, um, this car. It was just um, when we were going up a dry um, dirt hill, the rear wheels kept spinning. But the rest of the road is bitumen from the end of this one. So um, we shouldn't have any issues with spinning wheels. We'll just take it real easy. We're on the back roads. We shouldn't see any other cars. Um, we just want to get home safely really that's that's our mission at the end of the day we'll drive it um down our street because that's dirt as well so paul will drive that because um he's better at doing this sort of stuff than i am um yeah and then i don't know how um or if i'll be able to get this up the hill because we've got a big hill dirt hill but he reckons i should be fine so this is only my second time driving with the trailer and it happens to be the really big car trailer this time. First time was just the camper trailer, so that was all good. That was easy. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to keep concentrating on the road. I'm only doing about five kilometers an hour, so I'm not really going fast at all. Otherwise, I would usually be holding the camera. <laughs> okay, see you guys. 
this fits the bit I really really hate loading it on because it's so heavy the tail trailer and the car tip up a bit it's just it's gotta suck it up a bit <laughs> Thank you. 